In this video, we'll show you how to update the firmware on your Pioneer Nex in Dash Receiver using an Android based phone. This video applies to the following Pioneer Nex in Dash Receiver models DMHWT8600 Nex and 86 Nex, DMHWT7600 Nex and 76 Nex, DMHWC6600 Nex and 5700 Nex, DMHW4660 Nex and 4600 Nex. Before we get started, be sure to download and install the Pioneer Car AV Assist app on your phone. It's a free app from Pioneer. It's available for download from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Look for this icon when downloading this free app from Pioneer. Be sure to register your in-dash receiver with the Car AV Assist app. Registration is an important process for updating the receiver and for communication from the Car AV Assist app over to the receiver. In this video, we'll show you how to set up the receiver from the very first time you power it up. If you have the receiver in your vehicle for a while, you may have already completed the first few steps of this process. The first step is to select the display language that works best for you. The next step is to select the speaker mode settings that work best for your particular installation. Be sure to talk to your installation professional for the proper speaker mode settings. Be sure to read all the warnings and agree by pressing OK or just wait a few seconds and this screen will automatically advance. Next, we'll disable the self-demonstration mode. Just touch the gears and then the toolbox and scroll down to demo mode and select off. Next, we'll pair your phone through Bluetooth. Open the Bluetooth section of your phone and touch pair a new device. This will start a search for new devices. When you see your model of in-dash receiver come up, simply select it. And this will generate a pairing code. Be sure to match the pairing code number on the phone to the one that's displayed on the in-dash receiver. Confirm the Bluetooth pairing code on the in-dash receiver and, if necessary, also on your phone. Next, we'll enable the Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone. Next, we'll enable the Wi-Fi hotspot settings on the in-dash receiver. This will connect the two devices through Wi-Fi. So touch the gears, then Wi-Fi settings here at the bottom. Be sure to switch Wi-Fi on for your in-dash receiver. Next, choose the hotspot settings and touch the search button or the magnifying glass here to search for available networks. Choose the appropriate network. Your Wi-Fi hotspot is usually the name of your cell phone. Next, enter the Wi-Fi hotspot password and choose connect. Once the Wi-Fi connection is established, you'll need to agree to the terms of use and privacy policy before you can proceed. Be sure to scroll down through all of the pages and touch next to advance the page in the terms of use and the privacy policy. When you've reached the bottom of the document, you can accept the terms and then touch OK. Next, go out to the home screen and swipe from right to left to display the source selection screen. At the bottom left, you can see we have a Bluetooth connection and a Wi-Fi connection to my Pixel 3. Next, touch the Car AV Assist icon on the in-dash receiver screen. This will enter into transfer mode. Let's register your in-dash receiver with the Car AV Assist app. Touch to add the Pioneer in-dash receiver. Next, touch connect from the Pioneer in-dash receiver and then touch next. Agree to connect to the Pioneer in-dash receiver and hit OK. When your receiver has been properly registered with the Car AV Assist app, you'll see an image appear on the app screen. If a new firmware version is available, you'll be notified within the Car AV Assist app, and you can see it here. Touch the Firmware Update button at the bottom to begin to download the firmware onto your phone. Agree to the End User License Agreement, and the download will begin. Completing the download of the new firmware on the phone will take a few minutes depending upon your internet connection. Once the firmware has been downloaded onto your phone, let's go back to the in-dash receiver and begin the transfer process. Be sure your vehicle is on and in park with the parking brake safely engaged for this entire process. Touch the gears and the toolbox and scroll down to System Information. Under System Information, choose Firmware Update. Next, we'll select a Firmware Update method 
And since I've already downloaded the firmware to my phone through the Car AV Assist app, I'll touch the Car AV Assist app button. Earlier in this video, we connected the phone through Wi-Fi. So the next step is to begin the transfer of data from the phone to the in-dash receiver. From the Car AV Assist app, touch the transfer button. And be patient, because this will take a few minutes to complete. The in-dash receiver screen will display the percentage of data that's been transferred. When the transfer completes successfully, you'll see this message in the Car AV Assist app. Now that we have the firmware transferred to the in-dash receiver, it's time to actually update the firmware on the receiver. Touch the Start button to begin. And be patient because this is going to take a few minutes. You'll see the firmware update progress at the bottom of the screen. The system will automatically restart when the firmware update is complete. After the restart, when you see this screen, you'll know you've successfully completed the firmware update. 